This is Tom and Paula Graves from Light of Christ Radio with a chapter from our series called The Greatest Story. You're welcome to watch this video simply for the story, or you can use it as the basis of a small group study. Instructions for the small group study can be found in the show more section below this video. Today, we continue our series called The Greatest Story with our chapter on Jesus as we look at the letter of 2 Peter, and our story is from the first chapter. Well, Paula, as we begin our conversation today, let's look at the backstory to the letter of 2 Peter. Peter was a disciple of Jesus and a leader in the Jerusalem church. He also wrote his first letter to encourage persecuted believers. The first letter was written just prior to Nero's persecution of Christians. His second letter was written two or three years later. And at the time of this second letter, Nero had increased persecution against Christians. Peter knew that his time here on earth was going to be short, and we know that he was martyred in Rome in 67 AD. So this letter was probably written a few months before his death. It was an open letter to believers that was circulated among the churches. And he wanted to believers to remember the promises of Jesus. This would not only give them hope during this persecution, but the truth would counter any false teachers that came along. Well, the last words of a person are important, and we can learn from Peter's last words today. Which brings us to a story from the Word of God. By His divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know Him, the One who called us to Himself by means of His marvelous glory and excellence. And because of His glory and excellence, He has given us great and precious promises. Now, these promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence and moral excellence with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with patient endurance and patient endurance with godliness and godliness with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love for everyone. The more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But those who fail to develop in this way are short-sighted or blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their old sins. So, dear brothers and sisters, work hard to prove that you really are among those God has called and chosen. Do these things and you will never fall away. Then God will give you a grand entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you already know them and are standing firm in the truth you have been taught. And it's only right that I should keep on reminding you as long as I live. For our Lord Jesus Christ has shown me that I must soon leave this earthly life. So I will work hard to make sure you always remember these things after I am gone. For we were not making up clever stories when we told you about the powerful coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We saw his majestic splendor with our own eyes when he received honor and glory from God the Father. The voice from the majestic glory of God said to him, This is my dearly loved son who brings me great joy. We ourselves heard that voice from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. And because of that experience, we have even greater confidence in the prophet's message. You must pay close attention to what they wrote, for their words are like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and Christ the morning star shines in your hearts. Above all, you must realize that no prophecy in Scripture ever came from the prophet's own understanding or from human initiative. No, those prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit and spoke from God. And this is a story from the Word of God. If you're using this video for small group application, after you've watched this video, try retelling the story from what you have heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are below in the Show More section. We hope this will help you on your journey of life. Be blessed.